Let's get started in integrating PayPal payments into WooCommerce. We want to go on the left menu, hover over plugins and click on add new. When working with new plugins, it's always recommended to have a backup of your site and be able to know how to revert back to if needed, or just allow an experienced WooCommerce WordPress developer complete the plugin installation. On the top right, you'll see search plugins. We want to search the name of the plugin WooCommerce PayPal payments, both WooCommerce and PayPal, one word. You'll see the plugin here. We want to click on install now. May take a while depending on your server, and then we can click on activate. You will be redirected to the plugins page, but from here we can just go on the left menu, hover over WooCommerce, and click on settings. We can click on the payments tab at the top. We want to scroll down. The option that we are looking for just says the word PayPal. So to the far right of that, we can click on setup. As you can see, there's a sub menu that says PayPal checkout, PayPal card processing, and webhook status. PayPal checkout is what we will begin. This is just PayPal payments, as well as bundled along with this plugin is PayPal card processing, which is simply buyers typing out their card on their website without going the PayPal route. I'll show you how to enable both. Let's start with PayPal. You are able to use sandbox testing with a sandbox account. If you want to, go ahead and enable that checkbox first. For my tutorial, I'll leave it in production and then click on connect to PayPal. You will be asked to log in and give WooCommerce permissions. If you don't have this PayPal payments feature enabled in your account, you will be redirected to a short application to apply and get approved instantly and then give permissions to WooCommerce. So go ahead and log in and follow the prompts. Then we want to click on agree and connect. And lastly, we want to click on go back to WooCommerce developers. Once the page redirects you back, go ahead and enable the top first option. And we can move on to the next of the settings. Feel free to adjust the settings to accommodate to your liking. A few settings to note is instant payments. If you want to avoid electronic checks that take three to five days and can potentially bounce, then go ahead and enable this option. You can enable the ability to save or store the PayPal account if customers have an account with your website, although you may lose out on some features within the pay later umbrella by doing so, as well as you must have a feature inside of your PayPal account enabled. Make sure to click on this link to find out more information. Let's go ahead and enable logging in case we need to review the logs later on. The rest of the information should be cosmetic, I recommend always enabling the pay later messages wherever possible. Once again, more cosmetic options appear. I recommend leaving them as is. Unless they clash with your website colors or style, you can change them here. Here's another one. And lastly, the cart. If you have a mini cart on your website, you can enable the PayPal mini cart. Otherwise, if you don't have a mini cart, you can disable this to save on some resources from loading. Once you're done, we can hit save changes at the bottom left. Once you save it, you may see some disclaimers up here about what's available and what's not. I already mentioned PayPal vaulting earlier. We have now successfully enabled PayPal. Let's go ahead and enable card processing as well. If customers decide to pay outside of PayPal, go ahead and click on PayPal card processing here, or you can go back to the payments tab at the top. Find the PayPal card processing option, and then we can click on setup to the right. Go ahead and enable the first option. You can put whatever title you like here. I like this title to be a bit more descriptive. This is a customer facing label. Once again, the same rules apply for this vaulting if you want to enable it. You can disable specific cards if you don't wish to accept them for any reason. As well as you can show logos from specific cards. You can adjust the 3D secure contingency for when you want it to apply. This is an extra layer of security that comes built in with this card processing. Once you're done, we can hit save changes. And that should be it. You have successfully enabled PayPal payments into WooCommerce.